Namaskaram, welcome Jai Shri Ji to Madhubhumi Festival of Letters. Namalupo is in the Peren Vasigara Anana, a song which is synonymous with your name. We will start with that song on a musical note. Thank you for this invitation and privileged and honored to be amongst the intellectual, wonderful artists of India. Thank you, Ravi, for that kind introduction. I'm waiting to see how she'll enact my song as well. Nesipadum, Shwasipadum, Undayaval, Dane, Ying Hire, Ting Hire, Unival, Nane, Vasigara, Yeninjinika, Unpun Madir, Tunginal, Podumade. Yen Kanuranga Munjan Mangalil Lekangal Tirum Nan Nisipadum Shwasipadum Undayaval Dane Ying Hire Ting Hire Unilival Nane Thank you. ഈ പാട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ കേട്ടുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ എനിക്ക് പെട്ടെന്ന് ഒരു ഓർമ്മ വന്നൊരു സംഭവം ഞാൻ പറയാം അതായത് ഞാൻ ഇതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് രണ്ട് മാസം മുന്നേ മാതൃഭൂമിയിൽ എഴുതിയിരുന്നു ഓർമ്മയുണ്ടല്ലോ എഡിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ ഒക്കെ ചെയ്ത് അപ്പോൾ അത് വായിച്ച് കുറേ പേര് വിളിച്ചു പക്ഷേ ഒരു കോൾ എനിക്ക് ഭയങ്കര എമോഷണൽ ആയി തോന്നി അതായത് അവൻ യു എസ് എന്നാണ് വിളിച്ചത് പക്ഷേ മലയാളിയാണ് അവൻ്റെ അമ്മ ഒരു ക്യാൻസർ പേഷ്യൻ്റായിരുന്നു കീമോ ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് പോയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ ഈ സമയത്ത് ഓരോ കീമോ കഴിഞ്ഞ് വരുമ്പോഴും ഭയങ്കര പെയിൻഫുള്ളാണ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് ജീവിതത്തെ വെറുക്കുന്ന ഒരു ഒരു ഘട്ടമാണ് പക്ഷേ ഓരോ തവണയും കീമോ കഴിഞ്ഞ് വരുമ്പോൾ അവർ മകനോട് പറയും എനിക്ക് വസീകര ഒന്ന് കേൾപ്പിച്ച് തരണം വസീകര വസീകര ലൂപ്പിലിട്ട് അവരെല്ലാം കീമോ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഈ പാട്ട് കേൾക്കുകയായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ എന്നാൽ അവൻ എന്നോട് ഭയങ്കര എമോഷണലായി പറഞ്ഞു ഇറ്റ്സ് എ സോങ് ദാറ്റ് ബ്രോട്ട് ഹെർ ബാക്ക് ടു ലൈഫ് അത്രയും ആ പാട്ടിനോട് അറ്റാച്ച്മെൻ്റ് ഉണ്ടെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് അവൻ വി പി ശരിക്കും അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു എമോ ശരിക്കും ഒരു പാട്ട് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ ഒരാളെ ആകർഷിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ ആ പാട്ടിൻ്റെ ആകർഷണ വിലയിൽ വീണു പോകുന്നത് നമുക്ക് ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ അതുപോലുള്ള എമോഷണൽ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ജയശ്രീജിക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഈ പാട്ടുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ടിട്ട് Thank you. Uh, I'm going to speak in English, though I understand every word of Malayalam that Mr. Ravi just said. When I sang Vasigara, when I um, entered the studio, I assumed that the call was from Kerala's Jairaj, the director Jairaj, with whom I had worked before that. And I was just returning on a train journey from uh, Coimbatore and on the landline there was a call that Jairaj has called you to sing a song and I, I was so sure it was our Kerala's Jairaj and went to the studio and there was nobody in the studio. I just heard um, the melody uh, played and recorded on the piano and there was this fairly very young uh, man who walked in and uh, said, ma'am, did you like the tune? I said, yes, but uh, is there a voice? He said, no, we'll have to try and sing it. And then the lyricist came in. We were introduced to each other. It was Tamarai and myself, and I heard the song, and I tried to sing the lyrics with the tune. And about 10 minutes after that, I asked the man who played the uh, recording as to, where is Mr. Jairaj? He said, I'm Jairaj. Um, so it was Harris Jairaj who had actually called. It was just my assumption. So that's a very beautiful incident about this song that none of us knew each other. And then director Gautam Menon, he also came in. And it was a kind of, I think it was a debut of Harris, 
Tamarai and uh, Gautam Menon. I had sung a few songs before that that were not noticed as much as Vasigara. And this is how the whole uh, recording was done in just about an hour and a half. The recording was over and I remember coming back in an auto rickshaw home and calling my brother and he said, where are you? Did you come back from Coimbatore? I said, yes. And I sang a film song and I remember humming the tune for him. And then we moved on with other things in uh, life. And once the song was released, on our street there is, a, there is an istri wala who irons all my clothes. He came home and said, Amma, you are the part of Kingla. In Tamil, I'm sure everyone understands Tamil as much here. And I said, the part? Vasigra, Vasigra, Abdina, Ella, Adithilum, Kekde. And after that, my clothes were ironed better. <laughs> and all my friends in life who had helped me, like the auto rickshaw driver, everybody became even better friends of mine. And there are many stories. Um, this is a very beautiful one that um, Mr. Rabi just shared. But I have heard stories of how people have met, got engaged, and stayed married because of this song. It's the song that they go back to. It's the child, uh, it's a, uh, one grandfather who is a very, uh, very typical um, connoisseur of only Carnatic music, came up to me after my concert, and he said, Vasigra Ninga Padir Kinga, and I almost thought he will scold me, because sometimes, um, People who listen to pure classical music cannot very much resonate or identify with film music. And he said, I gifted this uh, song in a cassette to my grandson, and now he wanted to come and hear your concert. So there are multiple, many, many experiences like this that I have shared. Um, it's about Vasigara. All I can say is that I feel very grateful for having sung that song, been given that opportunity of that song that still is very fresh in everybody's minds. And because of that song, I have got so much love from all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have a feeling of nostalgia in this part. I have a feeling of nostalgia in this part. I have a feeling of nostalgia in this part. I have a feeling of nostalgia in this part. I have a feeling of nostalgia in Calcutta. You spend your childhood in Calcutta. Calcutta. So, that's why I have a feeling of nostalgia in this part. Pertanda mana silo orang mohon sila parti kan dah. The song with who with which you grew up, na. Pertanda orang mohon itu parti, pada betul. Madan Mohan is a composer of Hindi film music. It's the music that everybody in my house grew up with. My brothers and I. I'll sing one of the songs that is a favorite. Even today, when we meet as a family, we will start by with singing these songs and then move on to other songs. I'm sure you all know this song and you can join me if you wish. Lag ja gali ke phir ye hasi raat ho gai shayad फिर इस जन्म में मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गले के फिर ये I'm sure you know it you can sing it sing it with me शायद फिर इस जन्म में मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गले नैना बरसे रिम झिम रिम झिम पिया तोरी आवन किया आस नैना बरसे Thank you. This part is called the Amma Eda Godi. My mother is a real inspiration. Where is your mother? So my mother is from Kori Kod. She grew up in Kori Kod. And she was married to my father. And they moved to Calcutta in the late 50s or early 60s. 
and the family lived in Calcutta for about 15 years. And my, I have two brothers, both older to me. The second brother went to kindergarten school and he would come back humming, He came back and all day he would hum this song. Because the kindergarten teacher, she would sing this song in school. I wish we had more teachers like that who sang in school and didn't stop with teaching other things. And my mother went uh, searching for this song. She went to the school and she said, where has my son picked this song up? And she met Mrs. Banerjee and she told Mrs. Banerjee, can you sing it for me? And after that, she somehow located the song when it played on radio. And that was the beginning of film music entering our otherwise very Carnatic music uh, household. And to date, whenever my mother meets me first, she'll say, can you sing one line of Naina Barse? Can you sing one line of Lag Jagale? Before she tells me to practice classical music. So in our house, the old film music, the old Malayalam film music, the otherwise music, is all very part of our household as much as classical music is. You were born in Kolkata, right? There is Bombay Jayasri, there is Kolkata Jayasri, there is Chennai Jayasri, and there is Kerala Jayasri also. There is Vatakanjeri Jayasri. There is Vatakanjeri Jayasri. Vatakanjeri, my mother's brother used to live there. So, summer holidays, we used to spend two months, entire childhood in Vatakanjeri, in a small village called Vandari. And every day morning, 4 o'clock, there was a small Ayyapan Shasta coil outside my mama's house. At 4 in the morning, from the Ambalam, we used to hear all the songs sung by Yeshudas. The voice of Yeshudas actually woke us up. Ambala Parambule, Swarganandini, all the million songs. So, in my mind, there are many compartments. There is little Malayalam song, there is little Madan Mohan, there is Carnatic music. That's Ade Yeshudas in the good, eh? You mm -hmm. went on to sing, sing live, no? According yeah. to Kodumba Samayadathil. Yeah. What was that experience? So, when you meet a legend who you never dream of meeting and suddenly you are invited to the studio again by our Jai Raj to share a duet with the great legendary Yeshudas. For the first half an hour, I was standing next to him. He was sit seated, I was standing next to him and I couldn't sing on the mic because I couldn't believe that this was happening to me. And then with very much love and affection, he comforted me, he taught me the song and um, life gave me this moment to be able to render a duet song with him which was in the film Kudumba Samveda. Apart or Menda? Uh, there were a couple of songs. One was Pahimam Shri Raja Rajeshwari Kripa Kari Shankari Pahimam Shri Raja Rajeshwari I remember after the song I was still shaking, I was so nervous. So very kindly, Das sir gave me a small Mari biscuit and he said, eat this and go home, relax. <laughs> a classical music background died in the family. Did you film music in the film music? When I grew up, uh, I saw all different, uh, different forms of music and I always um, mention this analogy that when I go up in the air, if I went to the moon or if I go up a flight and when I look at, when we are able to look at land, I cannot see any lines between any countries. It very beautifully merges from country to country. Sometimes there's a mountain, sometimes there's snow, sometimes there is just rivers. Why countries? Even when we land from Chennai to Kerala, as I have done, when I see the coconut trees, I know it's Kerala, but there's no line there. But I am able to appreciate both Tamil Nadu and Kerala with equal ease and pleasure and ownership. In the same way, as a child, I am grateful that my parents and everybody around us taught us to appreciate every music with the same openness, with the same appreciative spirit. So I don't know if there was anybody else who felt I should not have sung, 
But for me, every song is a learning. Every music director is an institution. Every composition is a jewel that I have added to my repertoire. And the fact that it has been loved by all of you stands testimony that there's no difference between one form and the other as far as you love and do it correctly. Thank you. Karnatic music in Nepati, Pudave Namakura and Bhakti, Uru Adinura Avashek Hadagan Palarim Parayarand. Pashadu Vayanon, where I showed in, I know the average master Kilparno, Adhinda Yusha Sierla. But she, Madre Mani, Tae, Yesho, the party Kumbo, she, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, and the Munil order called Lodi Nikuna Vola Tonun or Nathan Bakhtan or Nola, the Vishwas on Nula. But she, there is a feeling. That's why I'm not sure if you have a good music. Bhakti is an Indian word, may I say. It's a Sanskrit word, or it's there in other languages as well, in Indian languages. If we try to uh, transliterate Bhakti in English, you must tell me is there an exact definition? Is there an exact meaning for Bhakti in any other language? Devotion? Is devotion bhakti? I don't know. In a similar way, one cannot explain what bhakti is. One has to feel it. One has to experience it. And it need not be a person. It need not be a deity. It could just be just swaram. It could just be a few phrases. It could be a word. But the consistent love that we have for what we do, doing it without expecting anything else but to get closer to and closer and closer to that beauty which we call perfection is what I call bhakti. That's how I define bhakti because as a child or as a, a student growing up in my teens or even in my college, the word bhakti came in many songs, but I never understood it. I don't think I can say I understand it even now. But I simply love art. I love music. I love dance. I love um, writing. When I see each of you, I feel there is a bhakti in each of you that makes you write what you do. Consistence or persistence or love. You may call it anything or devotion like ma'am said. So without that, how can we do what we do? Even to make a simple meal, you need to do it with what is bhakti, love. To make it love for someone who you're serving it to, love to eat it. It could be anything. All of this is bhakti, isn't it? Thank you. I expected that from you. Pinna, any kid on the back to film music? Namukar Rahmane or Ikili Marakam Betilya. Actually, Iruvar was actually break for you. Ille, lor break kai. Padam odal pinna. Uh, Oscar nomination very long journey. That's why it's a journey. What's the association of Narumuge and the party? Narumuge is from the song Iruvar. Niyur nari gai nil njai Atchai tingalan nilavil Kotchai parvai pathavanum Niyya Narumugaye, Narumugaye, Ni Urinari Gainindai, A tree tingle and Nina will Got tree par by part of an um Nia Rahmande style, other engineer who did composing style. Rahman, sir, is someone who. Uh, gives an artist a lot of freedom to be able to do what one thinks, what one can offer. But at the same time, he has defined the melody and everything about the melody also. But he gives enough open space for us to be able to participate in the creation of that song. So it's always a pleasure to work with someone and as great uh, as him. You're lucky to associate with the MSV also, legendary MSV. Yes, yes. I was in school when I came to Chennai to sing. I initially came to sing just two songs for a film called um, Tambadigal for the legendary MS Vishwanathan sir who's, who's from this land and who has composed a lot in Tamil. 
Um, and the two s songs that I came to sing were uh, solos for Silk Smita. I was in school, but I was rendering for Silk Smita. I had no clue what I was doing. And uh, the great SPB sir was in the studio while I was singing those two songs. And there were two more duets in the song. So there was a small discussion between SPB sir and MSV sir. And then I ended up singing the two duets with him as well. So all four songs in that movie. But then I went back to Bombay to complete my schooling and then came much later to train in classical music. And that's when I sang for Himan sir, Ile Raja sir and the others. And Raja sir also. Yes, I, I sang for Ile Raja sir. Uh, the first song was in a film called Vietnam Colony. Um, it's a song that is filmed on Sri Vidya ma'am. She's, she's a party teacher in that song. And the movie opens with her teaching students, which is Kai Veenai Endum, written by Vali, sir. Film music, we have a parallel to classical music. There are many concerts. But the other thing is that it's balancing act is too difficult. Do you have any questions? I don't say it was easy, but you can just be lucky if you can. Um, sing both and do it correctly. Uh, what I do is, if I have a concert on a particular evening, and if I am requested to sing a film song previous day or that day, I'll try not to do that because I want to keep all my focus energy on the concert. So that kind of small compromises and Thank adjustments you. will be needed. If you can do that, I think one can manage. Otherwise, there are experimentations diffusion music, jugal bandis. But in Hindustan, it's almost common. But there is an Arab or Egyptian musician who has a fusion. That's a different thing. So Egyptian good. music was by, with Hisham Abbas that I did a song when I sang Hindi and Arabic, a few lines of Arabic, because that first film was filmed on the Taj Mahal and the monuments of India. Yes, it was recorded in Chennai. Oh, yeah. film music, Carnatic music, all the activities from Jai Sri Ji. autistic children. Music therapy is there, no? Music therapy is effective. This is something I like to talk about very much more than what I have spoken before. I don't know how many of you know about autism. I did not know uh, 20 years ago. Um, I was at a concert and a small boy, he was about 11 years old maybe, he came up to me. Normally after a concert, everybody's um, saying very nice things, right? To the artist, you sang well, we enjoyed, etc., etc. And in that crowd, there was this young boy who came straight to me. And there was something special about the way he came. And he looked into my eyes and he said, you sang everything wrong. You sang everything wrong. I'm very upset. He just said this three times and he went away. The next day, I had an opportunity to uh, meet the same boy and his mother in a small dinner. And the moment I entered, I saw this boy and I was very nervous what this boy is going to come and tell me. And in front of everybody, that was my worry. So. But he didn't, he was just sitting. When nobody was watching, I went to his mother and said, well, what is your child's name? She said, Prakash. And I said, why did he say that to me? She said, that's because he only says the truth. Then I asked her, uh, what does that mean? She says, ma'am, he listens to, not ma'am, I was 30 years ago. She must have said Jai Shri. She said, he, he only listens to your music. Under his pillow, he keeps your cassette with your photo, photo and the CD. And what you sang yesterday is something he may have heard several hundred times, so much that I have to buy a new cassette every time because the cassette gets old and it stops playing. So she said, ma'am, I think you may have sung a little differently yesterday because it was a live concert. I'm sorry, but Prakash only knows to speak the truth. And then this was over, I came back. After a few months, the organizer sent me a video recording of the concert and I was watching to see how I can improve. And there was a particular song in which I had made mistakes, quite some mistakes. And I didn't even realize after a concert, 
I was buying into everyone's compliments and making myself feel even better that, wow, everybody's saying nice things. I truly must be some magician kind of thing. And when this child said that, I had the hope that maybe he said something which he didn't intend to. But when I watched the video, I was, I was overcome by so much guilt, embarrassment. And those days, there was no way for me to track Prakash. Even today, I have not met Prakash. But Prakash gave me a gift. He told me in many ways that I must sing for children like him, children who have autism. So autism is a genetic disorder that nowadays every 40th child in the world is born with. It affects male children more than female. So they have a lot of disabilities in navigating their day-to-day -day life but they have a special gift of focus in an area that they choose to. And sometimes that can be music, which Prakash has. And after this, one after the other, I kept meeting children with autism. And there was a message for me that I should share my music with them. So for the past 20 years, with the help of my students, we've been sharing with music with them in different centers all over the world. I run a small organization where we teach children with autism. And now, thanks to COVID, one of the things that COVID has also gifted us is this platform, online platform, through which we are able to reach out to children all over the world to share music with them. We know that it creates a difference in their life. But what we also know every day is how it makes us, me and my students, not only a better musician, but a better human being. Music, music direction, Carnatic, film music, it will social. manage I don't manage it. I think it just manages on us. <laughs> Must be managing on its own like the traffic in India. When my friends visit me from outside, they said, how, how do you navigate? I said, we don't do anything. Don't we all just go by our own? So I guess it's like that. Now, Amrit, your son is into music in a big way. A newcomer in the music world. What are the challenges he's going to face in the Tanelaki? I think more than challenges, first, first of all, I want to say that I am grateful and he is grateful that he has chosen to do only music. Challenges is, will come. Many will come in forms we recognize, we don't recognize. I don't think we think about that. We are not thinking about that. Uh, I never thought about that. He is not thinking about that. Hippo, uh, what is he actually what is he doing? Composing and he's composing, he is trying to create his own independent music. He's a work in process, he's very young, and um, practicing classical music also every day. Edailam, Jai Sri Ji, Vannapa Parnirinno, in the concert, there is a voice rest. I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, sorry. But I don't want to talk about it in Malayana. Jai Sri Ji Padiya Paattu Kala, Inki Vala Reshta Patta Paattu Kala Kora Yandu, Pranaya Santhiya. Angani Yala, Adho Vala Nilaan Jana Poovin. Adho Nilaan Jana Poovin Ondho, Adho Pranaya Santhiya Ilo Madhi Ondho Paattu Kala. Maamang Yambada Kala. Aha. Rari Raru Raru Rari raru raru Rari raru Rari raru raru Rari raru raru Rari raru raru Rari raru Magani Kannamunni magane, 